Welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Robin McKay, and I am here for the neurodiverse spiritual entrepreneurs, CEOs, and leaders. And I'm right in the middle of a series on what's working for neurodivergent entrepreneurs and what's not. And today I'm going to be talking about mindset. And I think it's very cute and funny of me to be talking about mindset as something that does not work for us, especially because the podcast I had up until I started becoming the channel was called Mindset RX. And I talked all about mindset. And um, well, you know, here's the thing is that if I'm not learning and growing and shifting, then what am I doing here? And for sure, in the last year, as I started becoming the channel, and I actually became the channel uh, back in October of last year, when my highest point of ascension dropped in, anchored in, and life has really very much been different and very much an accelerated timeline since then. I look back at that old work that I did with Mindset RX and so on, and I just think, well, that was my contribution for that time in the world. And times have changed and I have changed. And actually, the research has borne out that mindset has very little to do with positive outcomes in any of our work from a creativity perspective, from a um, productivity perspective, and so on. And yet, we continue to have this uh, kind of in the in the ethers. In entrepreneurship, we talk so much about mindset. And even I, I will say a couple of weeks ago, I was working on a project and it was not going as well as I will want it to go. And I said to myself, what is wrong with me? There must be, I must not be thinking about things the right way. And I thought I will have to do my mindset work. And I stopped myself and I thought, oh, do even me. Uh, who recognizes that mindset has its limitations. And it's not that thinking positively isn't important. And it's not that uh, saying your mantras and your your affirmations isn't helpful. But uh, when there is a big mismatch between how you're feeling and what's going on in your brain and the words that you are saying in your mindset, or even if you're simply just adopting a mindset of hard work or of grit or tenacity, you're not going to really see any results. You're going to be bumping up, up against a glass ceiling with your income, with uh, how effective you are being in your business and so on, uh, if you're only focusing on mindset. I don't know anyone actually who only focuses on mindset, but for today, I do want to focus on that as the topic of what's not working for you and what we can do instead, what will be very, very helpful for you instead of mindset. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. So using mindset work to clear your money blocks is the reason that your income is about a quarter of what it could be. Mindset work just can't break through brain-based conditions. And when you're a neurodivergent entrepreneur, you have brain-based conditions. Even if you don't have ADHD or autism spectrum disorder, you might have anxiety, depression, you might have dyslexia or dysgraphia, you might have hyperlexia. From the time you were a little kid, perhaps you were reading very, very quickly and way more advanced levels than what was expected for kids your age. You might be really, really smart, have a very, very fast processing speed or be super creative or super intuitive, which I know a lot of people who land in my world are very smart and very intuitive. And if that's the case, then uh, you're probably going to bump up against some things that mindset work is not going to be able to even touch. So these brain-based conditions have some, some, we have some problems in our executive functioning, in particular when we've got neurodiversity and executive functioning all happens pr primarily in the, the prefrontal cortex, the, the front of the brain, uh, which is involved in reasoning and decision making, but it's also involved in, in focus, in, uh, initiation of tasks or even figuring out how to start a task or what step to do first or figuring out the steps that you will take in order to accomplish what you've set out to accomplish. One of the things I know for sure about neurodiverse people is that we have no problem with our imaginations for the most part. If you are intuitive, creative, very bright, chances are quite good that you can see your vision on into the future in its entirety in technicolor, in 4D or 4K or whatever the kids are calling it these days. 
That's not the problem. The problem is not the vision. The problem is getting started. The problem is figuring out the steps, the order, the sequence of things to do in order to bring the vision into reality or into your lived experiences. So mindset work, when we're looking at a brain that has difficulty staying focused or problems with motivation or difficulty planning and organizing activities that would bring about money making in your business or difficulty regulating your emotions. If you have something like bipolar disorder, anxiety, depression, emotional reactivity, anything that's going on in the brain or the nervous system that's going to make it more difficult for you to have a regulated emotional landscape, that is going to be something that mindset can't touch. It doesn't matter how many times you write your mantra as I see myself with a million dollars. If you are feeling anxious, depressed, scared, worried, overwhelmed, distracted, uh, those, uh, those mantras are falling on deaf ears and on a, a brain that simply cannot take in what you are laying down on your paper. And so that's where I come in. I'm way better than mindset work. I'm like a million times better than mindset work. Like if mindset and work and I did an arm wrestling match, I would beat them. Like it wouldn't even be a competition. I have to be honest with you. I know that, you know, I'm teasing about that, but I really am better than mindset work as you would expect, right? Uh, of course. So we have to collectively as people who have quirky and fast brains in our heads who are committed to leading the way into the new earth. We have to say, okay, so mindset work isn't working. What will work? And that is where I come in because uh, in my Wired for Wealth sessions that I've been talking about and I've been delivering for the past month or so now to uh, spiritual entrepreneurs and CEOs who are leaders, they're successful in business already, uh, and they keep bumping up against this thing about what's next. I don't know how to get to the next level. Whatever I'm doing now has stopped working and I can't figure my way around it. That is a really good time when people will say, well, I have to do more mindset work or I need more strategy. That would be another solution that um, the internets would hand us when we are running into problems in our businesses. I need mindset work and I need more strategy or I need more tactics or I need to hire a VA. Perhaps that is true that you need to hire a VA or an assistant to support you. But uh, I would like to look at your brain first. Because if your brain is neurodivergent and you are having difficulty staying focused or uh, having a hard time uh, staying motivated or getting motivated or starting to figure out what your next steps are, no matter how smart you are, by the way, even your intellect has its limits when you reach a certain point in your business. If you have ADHD, autism, or another form of neurodiversity, I've got great news for you. Your brain is actually wired for immense amounts of wealth. But the reason it's not here yet is because you've been following the guidance from those who don't know how your brain is wired and why. So no matter what program you join, you won't see the results you desire because your wonderful and wealthy brain is simply coded differently. You can keep investing in programs that don't get you and your unique wiring, or you can invest in a Wired for Wealth session like my other neurodiverse clients do and receive instant clarity about how to clear your brain of money blindness and other blocks for enormous wealth so that your income can double effortlessly. You'll understand why certain ways of making money will never work for you and gain clarity about what will. And I'll instantly clear trauma and patterns from your brain that are capping your income and your client flow. If you're tired of banging your beautiful brain against the wall and are ready to wire it for wealth, message me right now about my 60 minute Wired for Wealth session. Spaces are limited and will likely feel fill before too long. So I recommend you reaching out now. We'll put all of the enrollment information in the show notes. And if you have more questions about it, you can email me at Robin, R-O-B-Y-N at drrobinmckay.com. I'll look forward to connecting with you and wiring your brain for wealth. When you work with me, I just quickly, really quickly dial in on what the root causes are that disrupt your ability to precisely and efficiently manage your thoughts and your feelings and your actions. And never underestimate the value of insight, first of all. But then I help you to unravel and clear the experiences that make your brain's functioning worse. So things like trauma and sleep disturbance, shame, stress, busy work, procrastination, resistance, avoidance, even perimenopause can come into play 
in how the brain is functioning. What I'm finding is that as I'm doing these sessions, because so much of it is done in the bioenergy field, I'm doing a lot of uh, ascension activations during these sessions. So it's all energy work. It really is what is what is the differentiating factor here. It's not just telling you what the problem is. It's actually going into your energy field and evaporating anything that is not in harmony with the optimization of your brain. And then finally, I go in and I look and say, what is a pres- the specific prescription just for you that's going to support your brain's clarity and uh, your brain's ability to focus as well as to stay motivated? So you can then have confidence in taking the proper actions and aligned actions in the direction of your goals and dreams. And I have to tell you, this shows up in my life a lot because I do have a brain that has ADHD. Uh, I have had in the past uh, anxiety and depression. I've had head injuries in the past as well. I've had a uh, Epstein-Barr virus, which created a big fatigue situation for me in my 20s and even into my 30s, actually. And uh, so I've got a lot going on in my brain. Even now, after all these years of doing this work and doing all the things that, uh, and making sure that my brain is activated and cleared and optimized and all the things, uh, the other day I was sitting thinking, okay, I have to do this thing. I was writing some marketing copy. I'm like, okay, I'm writing the marketing copy and I had no idea what to say and I had no idea how to get started. It was very funny because, uh, of course, you would not expect that uh, somebody with a PhD in psychology who has all of this uh experience and expertise and has done this work for a very, very long time, very successfully would have that experience. And yet there I was sitting at my laptop saying, oh my goodness, what do I have to say? I have nothing to say. And I realized that it is the task initiation for me and being able to see step by step uh, what to do next. That was the hard part for me. And no amount of somebody's coaching was going to get me out of it. It was an energetic problem that I had to solve. It was not a cognitive problem that I had to solve. It was not something that uh, if I called my, I have a spiritual advisor, not a coach, but if I had, if I had said to her, uh, can you give me the steps in doing this? She would have first of all chuckled and said, no, I cannot give you the steps because it is not steps that is the problem. The problem, if there were one, was the energy. And so I ended up doing uh, some energy work on myself, just uh, uh, recalibrating, I will say, my brain to optimal functioning so that I was able to focus, so that I was able to trust my channel, that my channel was able to come through and write what was meant to be written, that uh, it was in, I already had the form and the structure of the copy I was working on. There's a very specific form that I, that I follow when I'm writing my copy. And uh, I had all of that already. So it was not about that. It would be similar to if I said, oh, write a haiku. And you will say, well, what is a haiku? Well, it's five syllables in the first line, seven in the second, five in the third. There you go. There's your structure. I already had my structure. That was not the problem. The problem was the focus. The problem was the task initiation. So once I cleared energetically my task initiation situation, I'll say in my brain, then I was able to just channel, simply channel, I'll say. And when that happened, then I was able to just keep going. I was able to step back into flow, which is sort of the opposite of distractibility. It's hyper focus. And then I was actually able to do my work. And so as I've been doing these Wired for Wealth sessions, what I'm seeing in my clients' experiences as I'm, as I'm optimizing their brains is I'm seeing a lot of, well, first of all, I'm seeing a a great diversity in what's going on in everybody's brains. But there are a couple of things that stand out for me. One is that there's this thing called money blindness, which I will be talking about on a future episode of the podcast. But basically, there's a whole lot of um, disruption between our vision, our sacred vision, what we are here to do, our highest calling, what we know we are here to do, and the initiation and uh, process of accomplishing that. There's a big disruption in the brain. And that is what uh, the Wired for Wealth sessions and the activations, the energy activations that are in that session are designed to uh, evaporate. So that then it is a very smooth and easy way of initiating and following through and uh, building steam in your spiritual business. And that is what is most important right now is that we are really being called to build steam in our businesses. We are, we are being called to not just do things for the sake of doing them, but to, to initiate 
new programs, new services to help more people in the service of our highest calling, in the service of what we are here to do in the first place. But as long as our neurodiverse brains are distracted and overwhelmed and frustrated and all of the, uh, the very human experiences, those uh, highest callings get set on the back burner, ignored, uh, forgotten about, and uh, at worst. And, you know, even I will say it's not even a really great place to be is that we kind of limp along with our highest calling and that's not what we're here about either. So big picture, mindset work does not work. If you've got these other things going on in your brain, uh, stop the mindset work. You will be much better at uh, if you will step into a Wired for Wealth session because that way we can get at the specifics of what are going, what's going on in your brain. Uh, how do we get you crystal clear on what you're meant to be offering? What kind of money making activities are actually going to work for you? And um, get you really focused on doing those things that are going to support the brain so that making money can be effortless. You will so much more easily be able to double your income very, very quickly than having to sort of army crawl your way through the process of making money in your business. That's not what you're here for. You're here to fly like a fairy or an angel, as am I. So if you will like to dive into a Wired for Wealth session, we'll have all the information in the show notes for enrollment. You can also email me at robin, R-O-B-Y-N, at drrobinmckay.com and ask me any questions that you have about that. I'm happy to answer any questions. And uh, these will sell out. These will sell out. And uh, I would encourage you to get yourself enrolled as fast as possible. These are a $5,000 value. They're 60 minutes, but I'm offering them at $1,110, $1,110 for for the time being. I will shift that at some point, but right now that's what they're running at. So I'm very happy to welcome you into that 60 minute session. We'll get your brain wired for wealth. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Do me a favor. If you love this episode and you know somebody who has a neurodiverse brain in their head, who's also a spiritual entrepreneur, share it with them. The more I can educate people about how our brains are different and what we're actually meant to be wired for, uh, the faster we can move into the new earth frequencies and the faster we will be able to create the transformations and the ascension that we're all wanting. Leave a review on the podcast if you will. Uh, Take a screenshot, let me know on social media, tag me in the post so I can say thank you and see what you loved about this podcast episode. I will look forward to seeing you next time.